If you're closely following the news about innovative electric vehicles, then you must have heard about Aptera Motors, a promising EV startup that aims at revolutionizing the personal mobility industry with their quirky-looking three-wheeled vehicle. The Aptera car is edging closer to production. The company's current CTO is also being involved in a project that's concentrated on the development and manufacturing of light electric bikes. Their first creation is called the EB1, and it's said to become one of the first electric dirt bikes to be produced in Canada. This two-wheeler is based on a handcrafted steel frame with aluminum swing arm and guards. The power to the bike's wheels is to be supplied by means of a 6-kilowatt brushless DC motor. This motor unit is capable of propelling you to the top speed of 68 miles per hour, while the initial sprint from 0 to 37 miles per hour takes just 3.5 seconds. The bike's equipped with a 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, and its overall weight would be about 150 pounds. The installed battery pack is set to grant you the riding autonomy of about 55 miles between charges. EB1 was designed to support a variety of customizations, including a 12 position adjustable seat, six position adjustable foot pegs, as well as a variety of settings that allow you to control and adjust the motor output. This new electric urban mobility vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions. But how does it compare to the other upcoming models, as well as those that are already available for purchase? Let's take a closer look. Enduro e-bikes is a Canada-based builder of custom electric bicycles that are suitable both for city commuting in the bike lanes as well as riding dirt trails, like true Enduro bikes are meant to be. Their flagship product is powered by a 12-kilowatt rear-direct brushless motor that can propel this two-wheeler to the speeds of 68 miles per hour in off-road conditions. This powerful motor is coupled with a 72-volt, 48-amp-hour battery pack that offers up to 60 miles of pedal-free riding. In order to comply with in-city road regulations, this two-wheeler has a low power setting that will turn off the motors and let you ride it as a regular bicycle or provide strictly limited electrified support via an available pedal assist feature. Being a custom e-bike builder, the company offers a large variety of upgrades, letting you fine-tune your ride according to your needs. On the checkout page, you'd be able to upgrade base controller to an intelligent sabaton. Decide whether you want a regular or off-road tires, pick between standard or downhill forks, upgrade to the RockShock rear suspension, choose between a variety of brake options, include quad piston hydraulic disc brakes, upgrade from a bicycle seat to a motorcycle style one, and much more. The creators of this bike also take safety and security seriously, so their bikes can be equipped with front and rear lights, a horn, turn signals, as well as a GPS tracker and a security system with an immobilizer. Since its introduction about four years ago, Saron X has been the number one choice in the budget dirt bike segment. Despite offering great value for the price, this two-wheeler has its own shortcomings. It seems like the Talaria Sting was created to address some of these drawbacks, even though its looks are almost identical to Saron's. Taliara Sting produces 6 kilowatts of power and a 60-volt, 38.4-amp-hour battery pack. The bike utilizes a gearbox instead of a belt drive system that's, that is found in its almost identical twin brother. In its base modification, the model is shipped with a 44-tooth rear sprocket and a rear wheel that measures 19 by 1.6 inches with an 80-119 tire. Speaking of the front wheel, it's a 19 by 1.4 inch wheel with a 70-119 tire. The Taleria dirt bike tips the scales at 127 pounds, has hydraulic brakes, and is suspended by a DNM fork and a fast ace rear shock. The manufacturer suggests that you can travel up to 63 miles on a charge in eco mode, although riding at higher speeds drains the battery at a much higher pace. When depleted, the battery would require you to charge at the nearest power outlet for about four hours. If you're serious about electrified trail riding, you can purchase two batteries and quickly swap them to extend your range. 
The two-wheeler is equipped with an interactive display that shows the most important riding data, lets you switch between sport and eco riding models, as well as your regen settings. Elec is an uprising manufacturer of electric bicycles from Ukraine that's starting to attract the attention of the international scale, thanks to their enduro and off-road-oriented motorbikes. The brand's lineup currently has two trail-oriented models, the lighter Atom Boost and the range-topping Positive MD model. Atom Boost has the frame geometry similar to the majority of enduro e-bikes out there. It is equipped with a motorcycle-style seat but still has a set of pedals that could be used to extend your riding range. The bike's powertrain consists of a 3 kilowatt rear hub motor that has the peak output rating of 6.5 kilowatts and a 72 volt 50 amp hour battery pack. This powertrain duo can propel the rider to speeds of 60 miles per hour for the distance of up to 90 miles. These range estimations are provided for the moderate power setting, of course. Atom Boost comes with a full suspension system, Tektro E350 hydraulic brakes that also work with a regenerative braking system, and 18 by 3 inch motorcycle tires. On the order page, you can also opt in for such extra gear as mud guards, cargo rack, mirrors, a USB charging outlet, turn signals, an alarm system with a remote unlocking feature, and even custom body colors. The brand's most advanced model, the Positive MD, is using an electric motor of a similar output but with a mid-drive placement. Unlike Atom Boost, Positive MD is based on a motorcycle-like frame with a massive battery located in the middle. The bike can also accelerate to the top speed of 60 miles per hour. It's riding on a set of mismatched motorcycle wheels, a 19 by 2.75 inch wheel in the front and a 17 by 4.5 inch wheel in the back. The bike has three power settings, first, second and reverse. The information about the chosen setting, as well as other important technical parameters, could be looked up on the interactive LCD screen. Drill One Evo is a lightweight electric dirt bike that is produced by CZEM, a motorcycle manufacturing company from the Czech Republic. The model is offered in four modifications that were specifically developed for the needs of enduro downhill or trail riders. The company's engineers worked out custom tire and wheel setups to suit the needs of certain types of riders. In terms of powertrain components and performance characteristics, all modifications of Drill One Evo have many resemblances. The powertrain is represented by an electric motor with 11 kilowatts of nominal and 15 kilowatts of peak output. When paired up to a 42 amp hour battery pack, this dirt bike can reach the top speed of 56 miles per hour and offer continuous riding sessions up to 2.5 hours. The information about available battery charge and other vital performance data is shown on the display fixed on the bike's handlebars. The engine can work in one of three available performance modes. Every mode has a certain preset power value, as well as certain regenerative braking values. The most severe power settings could be used to charge the battery while coasting or going downhill. The same Belgian motorcycle professionals who gave the world an amazing Street Fighter version of Sorolla Superbike are returning with a new adventure-oriented project. The Trevor DTRE Stella is a reimagining of a vintage flat tracker with a modern trellis frame and ABS body panels. It weighs 222 pounds, including the 2.7 kilowatt hour battery pack that stores around 62 miles of range in an urban riding cycle. This two-wheeler is compatible with a 3 kilowatt fast charger that could top up the battery to the full in 60 minutes. The machine gets a brushless DC3 motor with 11 kilowatts of power, 
a premium suspension, Behringer brakes, 19-inch Han wheels, and Dunlop tires. Reservations are available for an off-road only and street legal version of the bike. EMX XF30 is an all-electric motocross bike that's currently being developed by EMX Powertrain Company and a battery supplier called Elio. Their prototype is currently based on the bilateral beam aluminum frame that was borrowed from Yamaha YZF bikes. The chassis was fitted with an innovative powertrain, introducing the benefits of instant power delivery and hassle-free maintenance associated with electric motor powertrains. The bike's powertrain consists of a liquid-cooled electric motor with a clutch-free, single-stage helical gear transmission and a high-density battery pack. The motor output is rated at 30 kilowatts, while the torque parameter at the wheel reaches 531 pound-feet. The battery capacity is equal to 4,500 watt-hours, and the manufacturer suggests that it should provide up to two hours of riding in the endurance mode. When fully discharged, you would need to keep the battery hooked to the power outlet for about one and a half hours. Other noteworthy features of this model include KYB spring type fork with speed sensitive damping and 310 millimeters of travel, a KYB rear shock with 318 millimeters of travel, hydraulic disc brakes, and an advanced liquid cooling system. Land Moto is an Ohio-based manufacturer of light electric motorcycles that weighs less than 200 pounds. Their current model range consists of three products, standard, street, and scrambler motorcycles. Land Moto designed their product as a transitional vehicle between a bicycle and a motorcycle. Each model is equipped with a smart power management system that lets you control the power output from 750 watts to 12 kilowatts. When the lowest power mode is engaged, the land motorcycles would perform as class two electric bicycles with a 20 mile per hour speed limiter. The highest power setting turns these two wheelers into highway ready motorcycles with 70 mile per hour speed capabilities. The standard modification comes equipped with a 1.8 kilowatt hour battery pack with hot swapping capabilities. This battery pack is good for 40 miles of riding but the manufacturer offers two longer range battery setups with either 3.6 or 5 kilowatt hours of additional capacity. Other standard equipment includes dual piston front and rear brakes, Pirelli Angel City tires, Fox full air rear suspension, inverted front forks with cartridge internals and aluminum wheels. The manufacturer also offers a series of upgrades and additional gear that includes, but not limited to, scrambler tires three color options, shock upgrades, fender options, a digital display, and a headlight with a tail light kit. Four years of engineering efforts by a company from Poland have resulted in the creation of Nuba One. It's a powerful electric bike that is destined to serve a dual purpose, provide an electric alternative to the fans of motocross bikes or be used as a regular bicycle with power restricted for city riding. The switch between city and off-road modes is said to be quick and effortless. Nuba One motorbike is offered in two power modifications. The higher spec model is equipped with an 18 kilowatt electric motor while the cheaper modification gets a 10 kilowatt unit. Both modifications come with a 56 amp hour battery, which can offer up to 130 miles of continuous riding. The top speed of these bikes is limited to 68 miles per hour. The company is currently looking for ways to fund production of this e-motorbike. If you believe in the future of this model, you can place a pre-order today and receive your two-wheeler in one of three available colors, 
blue, red, or black. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.